today I'm going to be bringing you my wash routine and how I do a wash and go on my fine dense hair. So right now I'm taking out just some braids I put in the night before. I put in my oil mixture in my hair from the last video I did with my braid out just to um, pre-poo. And these are the products that I use in my hair on my wash day routine slash wash and go. So I have my apple cider vinegar that I just wash my hair with and my brush that I use to massage my scalp and clean my scalp. And after that, I leave my hair dripping wet. I don't take out any of the water because I think my products work better when my hair is soaking wet and um, it drinks up the, even though my hair is high to medium porosity, yeah, it drinks up the product a lot better when it's still wet. Um, so that's the raw shea moisture um, conditioner. I really love it. I use it as a detangler, as you can see right here. And then I also use it as a leave-in and a deep conditioner when I want to. So um, sometimes I may switch that out with Aussie or Tresemme's Flawless Undone Conditioner. But since I'm trying to go over to more um, natural and organic products, I'm trying to phase out my Aussie and my Tresemme, but I'm going to finish what I already have, which is about two bottles of each. So I can use those to co-wash, but today I chose to use the Raw Shea Moisture to detangle. And as you can see, I'm also just going in and adding my deep conditioner on top. I feel like it's a waste of time for me to rinse out the raw shea moisture and then have to come out and add deep conditioner again like they all are supposed to do the same thing i need as much strength as my hair can take so i'm just going to leave in that one and put the other one in like it can't hurt um that's so i sit under the dryer for 30 minutes to heat it up and to make sure that it penetrates my hair well um, that dryer I got from Sally's I got it a while ago so I can't remember um, how much it costs but it works well like it hasn't given me problems yet so I like it and I put my bonnet on top just because of the heat and that being plastic I don't want it to get stuck in my hair or anything so now that I can now that when I take my hair out I'm just gonna go ahead and my hair is detangled but you know just go ahead and put it into different parts I try I usually like working with three to four parts um, I know my hair looks thick but it's really not hard to go through detangling doesn't take me too long uh that's why i don't really dread wash days like most people most naturals do i just am a lazy natural so that's the only reason why i put off doing my hair to like once a week that's like washing and doing the whole routine over but um i'm supposed to be co-washing midweek but um i'm trying to build up to that it's kind of hard when it's cold outside to like get your get your make yourself wash your hair but um right now i'm just i already rinsed out the deep conditioner and let me tell you this deep conditioner both of the shea moisture conditioners smell so good um i saw this method from somebody on the facebook group of this challenge that I joined mahogany curls that um, to keep their hair moist they put their baggie on it on the part that they're not working on that is genius for me because I struggle with my hair drying very quickly because I am high to medium porosity so by the time I get to the last section of my hair I have to spritz it again and that makes it um, just damp and not as wet as I would like it to be so 
using this method helps a lot. And um, the method I use for distributing product through my hair is a combination of like the praying hand or the praying mantis, whatever you call it, um, distribution method and also like shingling and raking. Uh, it depends on which section of my hair I'm working on because I have several different textures and the back I'll say is more 3C, the back of my hair, the crown of my hair is a mixture of 3B to probably 3A hair and that top of my hair is also where it's high porosity whereas it's normal in the back and then it's low on the sides near my ears on both sides those are the parts that are also the least defined like they get the most frizz there and so I try to put as much product there as possible to keep it moisturized and so as you can see that's my curl pattern it gets looser the closer you get to the top it's so annoying that's why I'm kind of glad I'm in this year-long challenge with mahogany curls because I don't tend to get heat damage be only because I barely use heat damage but when I mean I barely use heat but when I do use heat I swear like the top of my hair is the most fragile it's so annoying and as you can see I'm very annoyed and lazy um, but uh, yeah it's so annoying where I always feel like I'll rather put like a roller than actually straighten the top of my hair because I always feel like that's going to give me, like I'll get heat damage real quick just because of how straight and how loose those curls are. And so, but believe me you guys, my hair is not heat damaged or heat trained, whatever people want to call it. That is just how my hair grows. I've cut bangs so many times thinking that something was wrong with my hair, like it not matching up or whatever and so I would cut it and it would grow out the exact same way but this is my hair it's about two hours later I let it air dry and as you can see a lot of different curl patterns going on here but it's completely dry that's my hair with my wash and go I can make this last about maybe three to four days these products are bomb because I used to not be able to have a wash and go for more than a day. So I'm pretty happy with the results, you guys. Tell me what you think. Tell me what I can do to make it better. And thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.